Hi everybody, my name is Suol Pozel, and I would like to talk to you a little bit about support structures. We are in Fusion 360's manufacturer workspace, and we are using the additive tab for a metal powder bed fusion printer. I have a sample part loaded in an exact metal build platform, and we will start applying support structures to various overhangs the 90 degree overhang, the 75 degree overhang, and the 60 degree overhang. I have different types of supports I can add. I can add a volume support, I can add bar supports or polyline supports for example. Let's focus on the bar support. If I wanted to add a bar support to this face, after selecting OK, it will create the bar support using the default settings. The default settings come with Fusion and if you wanted to change them, you can say edit the bar, bar support and change the setting. For example, we can change the anchor density. We can go from a medium density to something that is more dense. And when I click OK, instead of having these two branches, I will have a lot more. In this case, it looks like I have four on that surface. If I wanted to have the same style of support for a different overhang, I can easily duplicate this and after duplicating it I can edit so that the support target is a different face. So now all the customizations I've done carry over. As you can see I have the same density there. Another thing I can do is I could go ahead and delete this and edit the original one but instead of choosing just one face I can choose two faces and hit OK. So those are both acceptable ways of editing the individual settings of a given support structure. But what if I wanted to change the defaults of Fusion so that it's always giving me a dense bar support? Well, to do that, you have to use the right-click compare edit option. When you do that, you can go ahead and find the changes that you want to propagate um, from one Fusion design to another. In this case, we changed the density. Um, we went from a anchor density that was medium to a dense. And here we can say, right-click on it and say, save as user default. When I do that and hit OK, now the next time I want to apply a um, bar support on a different surface, not with duplicating it, but by simply adding a new bar support, if I just go to general, you will see that the anchor density is now set to dense without me having to change it. So whenever I make changes to a given support structure, if I want those changes to propagate, um, and if I want Fusion to behave that way as a default, I can simply go ahead and change the compare and edit, look at the compare and edit dialog, find the changes that I want to propagate, right click on it and say you save as user default. Thank you for watching. In this video, we highlighted how to set certain settings in the support structures that we generate in Fusion's metal additive um, workflows so that we could use them on the same design or completely different designs.